but the distance from the radar here, I'm looking at rotation that's probably up around five to 6,000 feet. Um, and as we've seen, and we just talked about how low these storms are, mm -hmm. most of this rotation is happening down in the lowest 1,500 feet. It's really close to the ground. So far though, we haven't seen. Literally almost flying under the radar. Yeah, and that's what happens with the, with the radar. Um, you know, the, the radar has limitations. I think we get spoiled. Everyone has radar on their phone and doesn't understand that the limitations of the radar. The radar shoots out a single beam um, at a certain elevation, but because the earth is curved, the farther away you get, the ground starts curving away and the beam gets higher and higher in the sky. So I said this earlier today, when you get far away from the radar sites, they're like cell phone towers. You're getting fewer and fewer bars as you get farther away That's from the good radar. Good analogy. So when you're at the very edge, but the problem is your phone doesn't really tell you how far from the radar you're looking. It just shows you a radar return. Sometimes that could be at five, 10, 15,000 feet, which isn't telling you what's happening at the ground. So these radars are spread out across the country. In our area, there's one in Greer, South Carolina, one in Blacksburg, Virginia, one in Raleigh, and one over in Knoxville, Tennessee. You've talked about this <laughs> a lot. We, we've all yeah. talked about this and the need for more, more radars that cover more yeah. area for, for the reasons you're now describing. Yeah, we're lucky we have a smaller, kind of lower uh, quality one near the airport that they use for, for microburst detection for the airport. It's there for that reason, but it has limitations, but it's all the way down at Mountain Island Lake. So the area we're looking at is really far away from the radars. And that's another reason the spotters are so valuable to us because they're gonna see things that the radar isn't going to see. And today was a prime example where the spotters really were um, the heroes that they are. I mean, they trained for this and they gave us some great information today. So.